I'll show you how you can create the alias in pfSense. Alias is extremely helpful when you want to apply specific firewall rules to the specific group of hosts or hosts or group of networks or you can group even the URLs, IP addresses and so on. So how you can do that? You'll simply go here into the firewall and here you'll click on alias. So once you click on alias, you can see here that I have some of the IP addresses created here. This is the group of IP addresses which I have named as external servers. I have some kids computer here on my network. So I'll be blocking the access to those computers only in the firewall. And if I show you here status, I have created the static leads for that. So if you see here DHCP leases, so you will see these are all the static leases here. So all the IP addresses are provided by the DHCP server. And these are the leased IP addresses which are defined here. So these are 192.168.240.51, 52, 53 and 54. So four computers are there. So I'll be just going here to firewall aliases and I'll create a new group here or new alias here. I'll be giving it a name kids devices and here it will be kids devices. And what will be the type? Of course, these are the hosts. So I'll not be creating the URLs or ports or networks. These will be the hosts and I can give the IP addresses here. So first IP address is 192.168.240.51. So I'm using this particular range for the kids devices only. So I'll be giving it a name, for example, kid1 and then another host I'll be adding 52 which is kit 2 and here I'll be using another host kit 3 and here I'll be using another host kit 4 or child 4 whatever you want to you name it and here the format should be of course it should be either having the underscore or it should be without any spaces so here you can see I have added kids devices here apply changes now these alias has been added here. So when you are using any rule in the firewall, you don't need to choose the IP addresses one by one. So you know that there is a group of hosts which is already there in this kids devices. So in next video, I'll show you how you can use alias into the firewall rule.